Aries Pest Control. Monday morning, first thing, <laughs> call after call after call just because of the big influx. And as calls come in, help goes out. They're native. Uh, to the area, so it's not unusual to see them in small amounts, but this many at once is definitely an outbreak year. An outbreak that's rare on the western slope. It's been like 15, 20 years ago the last time, so people kind of forget that the Miller moth does invade us once in a while. An invasion of the army cutworm, also known as the Miller moth. It's our dry, desiccating winters. Most of the time, the populations don't um, withstand a lot of that weather. And with our record breaking levels of precipitation this season. Just been a really nice year for them. Lots of moisture this winter. So there was a lot of them that survived. Survival that comes in large numbers. They're hatching out and eating food and pupating, and now they're hatching as moths. The good news is that they won't be around for long. They'll be around for two weeks, and then they'll move up to the higher elevations to spend the summer and we won't see them until the late fall when they might come back down and lay eggs on alfalfa, winter wheat, and possibly turf. So in the meantime... Lights off is great because they are attracted to light. Uh, by sealing around doors and windows as much as you can helps. And for those considering a call to your local exterminator... A chemical control does some good, but it's really hard to chemical control. While well, the other option... Is to wait it out. It's going to be a week, two weeks that they're going to be bad, and then it'll start really slowing down.